In this video series, I'm going to show you how you can use a free service called Animoto to create some promotional videos to promote your products or affiliate products. Now to start with, I'm going to take you on a run through through how Animoto works basically. And then after that, in the next video, we will go through how to set it up so you can use it to promote an affiliate product or your own product. I'm going to use an affiliate product just in this example. Okay, so let's get started now. So it's really as simple as signing up first, just click the sign up button and then go through and set up your account. As you can see, there isn't much to it. Email, a password, a little bit about you, where you live, your name, your age, zip code, whether you're male or female, and a promotional code if you have one. Sign up. It's as simple as that. Okay, when you log in, it'll go to my account, and if you have any videos, they will show up in this spot. It also gives the status of videos, how many you have in your collection, how many you have from friends. Up here, you can go create a video, my videos, which is where we are. You can go to the music lounge, which shows you the music clips that they have available. Just choose a genre, and then you can look inside there to see what they have as far as titles are concerned. Okay, so let's get right down to business. Let's go to create video. And then you can choose the type of video you want. Now, the 30 second videos are free. And as it says here, you get 12 to 15 images. And that's what we're gonna use. You can also buy their service and do a full length video if you want. And you can go for Animoto for business. We're just going to use the free one for now. So let's just do an Animoto short. And here are our steps. First, we need to pick our images. So you can upload them from your own computer. You can select from their collection or you can retrieve from another site. And in here, you can pick which site you want to import your images from. So for instance, if we wanted to import from Facebook, we can click on that. And then we just continue here. And then of course, we're gonna to have to sign into Facebook. And then it brought them in for us here. Okay, so we can just click retrieve, click okay, and it'll bring them in. Okay, and as you can see, it has now brought our images in from Facebook. Okay, and we can click add more. So now we can pick from a different site or a different spot or upload them from our computer. So that's really what you want to do first is find the images you want in your slideshow. Now you notice over on the right hand side here, it tells you how many images, the length approximately, so 10 seconds for five images. And of course our soundtrack we haven't done yet. Okay, so that's just giving us a status. So we just keep going here until we have our images in and then we go to the next step. Now, if you go in, you can select from their collections. And then you can go in if you want into here, whichever one you're looking for. And then you can pick the images from in here as well. Okay, it shows a preview over here. And then you can just hold your control key down and you can pick another one if you want to pick multiple images. done and it brings them in to your slideshow as well for you and once you're in here you can click on these and edit the ones out that you don't want in here so let's do that down here you can delete okay and then we can move these around to change our slideshow and then of course you can rotate down here spotlight if you click on these and click on spotlight, it puts a special focus on the image when the slideshow is created. Okay, and then you can you can spotlight multiple images as well. So you can Okay, and then delete and duplicate of course are self-explanatory. You can also use the text thing here, and then you can put text in there. So you have your main text or title here, and then some subtext you can put down here. Okay, so something like that. Click done. 
and then you can move that like so if you want the text at the front. And then of course at any time you can just click on it and you can change it the same way here. Okay, and we can click done when we have our images in here. We should probably have more images than that. We only have five images in here and a 12 second slideshow. Now, this is a good demonstration for us, so we'll click done. And now we can get our music. Okay, so we can select from Anonymoto's collection or we can upload from our own computer. So let's just select from their collection here. Okay, so just pick the genre here. Let's go. Whichever one you want. Let's just try here. So you can search through here and you can listen to them to see if it's the one you want to choose. So you can go through the process of finding the one you like first. And once you have it, you can select it. Okay, so you can click play. And it plays it for you and you can stop it here. This is just like a little player control. And if you want that one, then you just click select and you're done. Or you can keep on looking through here until you find one that you want. I'm going to keep on going and find one that I want with this slideshow. Okay, so I found one I like here. I'm just going to select it. Okay, at this point gives you the soundtrack info and we just save and continue. Okay, so here we can choose either Animoto short or full length video. We're just doing the short because we don't want to pay for it. The speed, we can go half speed, full speed, or two times speed. Okay, and then video cover screen. So you can pick which one you want to use for the cover continue here you can put the title description and the producer name comes up as your own name but you can change that if you want we'll so just fill this out and create video okay, this takes a little while but it will email you when it's done so you don't have to sit here and wait for it so you can go right ahead and make another video if you want just click another one and it keeps on rendering for you email will show up when it's actually done Okay, so when it's done, you can play it through, check it out. And then you also have your toolbar here. Let's go to the video toolbar. And from here, you can do a remix. If you want to change it, you can edit it and then do a remix. We can do a new video or delete it. We can share it. And this is where we can send it to our friends or whatever on email. We can create a greeting card out of it. We can embed it in a blog or a website and we can export it to YouTube. We're going to get to these things a little later. Okay, so now you know the basics of using Animoto. In the next video, we're going to go through how to set up a promotional video for an affiliate product.